blessings to my kings and queens. Those of you wondering what pre-life it is, this is how Red Fox sees life and things that he looks at and he gives a little commentary on. Giving you a little pre-life, courtesy of Red Fox. Yes, my people. Check out I Red Fox on Reggae Global Radio. Every Saturday at 8 p.m. with Kev Stew, we all give you a pre-life. Brand new. Good for you. Kick away like a ball if you don't see a dance song. You hear that? Make a joyful noise unto the Lord all in land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Check this. I get a call from Jack via cell phone. Trust me, my friends, I was feeling so alone. Discourage and I sell my mic put on the microphone. And try something else. Maybe to get a bank loan. And start up a business. Open up a shop. I know me can't cook, my restaurant with a shot. I know me can't farm, I can't also do that. I promote to dance, I know it with a pack. Sit down in my studio, and I go and mix it out. The cell phone ring. But look, what a shout, I'm say, DJ, where you going? Long time you're about? Yeah, man, I'm there, I give thanks, you don't know. No doubt. Just to make you know, say you're great in a youth. Babylon free in a youth, I'm telling you the truth. Then I want to let you in in a your giddy yam boat. Cause the fire you a blaze, you burn up any soap. Me a beg you no give up, just go and stay the course. Your day have a come, and you make a big post. To victory, them have a know you are the goat. Just keep on pushing, cause you don't have my boat. You're a son of God, that's why it's not easy. The spiritual trad, but can't see really. The microphone is a rod, you are begging to leave it. It was a call from God, give thanks for the up full get your cup full i want to say thank you to my segment sponsors um my my sponsors of this broadcast i I have a couple of sponsors right now there's still spaces available for you to sponsor chioli thank you very much changing your lifestyle will change your life call up althea su to be your personal trainer, 954 655 9000. That's 954 655 9000. Give her a call and line up your personal training today. And uh, thank you to, no, not Red Fox, but to Matt Neal Trucking. With Matt Neal Trucking, you're in good hands for your moving needs. Your licensed and insured movers. Get them a call, 954 406 9740. That's 954 406 9740. Four zero. As we bounce through. This is Saturday Stew. If you're just joining in, welcome, welcome, welcome. Inviting you to call a friend, tell a friend, friends of your friends, friends of your enemies, enemies of your friends, and your enemies too, because it's for everybody. So, they all have some new music. This is not exactly new, but it's new. Err. It's about what? Uh, three weeks old now? Maybe four. <laughs> and how sweet it is. The track is called Love On. It's a sound uh, of none, uh, none other than the one and only Mr. Kashif Lindo. Let's see if we can love on together today. Ladies and gentlemen, the secret ingredient for today, the one and only Kashif. Wow, wow, wow. Keshi, how you doing, bro? 
Good man. Good man. How you the doing? secret ingredient for Wait, today. Why, why the am I one hearing and two only. things? Oh, this is Ke- why. All right, that gone. Yeah, Keshi, how you doing, bro? I'm good. How you doing, man? I am well. I am well. This has been a long time in the making, and um, nothing yeah. happens right before it's time. And this is the time, ladies and gentlemen, friends yeah. and family, foes, you name it, whomever you are. Welcome to the Saturday Stew and welcome to Secret Ingredient. Um, no stranger to Reggae Global Radio and, and, and people, everybody loving the music. Of course, everybody loves Kashif. But uh, <laughs> not sure how they're feeling right now because I don't think they really knew that, that that's why it's called the Secret Ingredient. They didn't know it was you that was going to be on today. Hey. Spicing up the Saturday <laughs> studio today, Kashif. Yo, Bridget, this album, it's, it's all of us. And the title track is, is nothing short of what we talk about all the time on Reggae Global Radio. Reggae Global Radio is built on this. And I, I, I think this album, this, this title track should just have a Reggae Global track. T- tag on it <laughs> oh wow i claim it hey. i claim it family family same way you know already <laughs> right and you know that goes to what i was saying just now you know i, I was healing up a friend of mine on facebook live before i cut off the facebook live and i've known this guy since that i can remember i would say 1985 mm-hmm. until today we're still friends Man. <laughs> and you know i tell people all the time that you can choose family but you can't choose relatives and they look at me strange mm-hmm. i just told the story just now i just said this just now um before you jumped on uh, I, I don't know how you feel about that sentiment. You know, it's, it's an opinion of mine, so you don't have to take it as, as but how you feel about it. Is it something you agree with? Um, I have something similar to that. Um, a relative is a relative, but um, even my closest brethren, them, I call them my brother's family because of how we move. Right. You know, so it, 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 it's all in a vibe because some, some relatives you might not link link with too good exactly <laughs> you know what i exactly. mean exactly so it's just how you move with one another you know what i mean so right right yeah. cool so as we talk about relatives someone like you who has been in this music business for quite a while now being the son of one of the most respected individuals in the industry uh writer musician producer when you came into this thing was it a sin a thing like why you know <laughs> because of who my father is and i have to make sure that i am doing good or because of who my father is i know i'm going to do good what was it like for yes. you coming in okay um i answered both ways um first one is um growing up in 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 the music um in music, um, it's, it's, it's second nature to me. It's, it's my home, you know what I mean? So there was an automatic um, pull with it for me. That was easy. Um, starting out singing wasn't, wasn't on the top of my head to do at first, you know what I mean? So um, even with certain songs that um, put my name on the map, my mindset wasn't there as yet. Now, in terms of with my father now, he's definitely my role model, you know, that I look up to from ever since. And, um, you know, yeah, I don't want to disappoint. And at the same mm-hmm. time back then, I did not want to sing. <laughs> really? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I, I, my mind was on other things, you know. Um, at the time, you know, I was more into sports. One sport in particular that I'm pretty sure you know yes, yes, <laughs> what it is. Yes. So, <laughs> so that's where my head was at the time. But apart from that, I'm always in the studio. Always love being around the studio. That vibe and energy is, is something about it. So I knew down the road, that's where I was going to be at at some point. You know what I mean? So mm. 
or for my father now yeah he's he's a perfectionist <laughs> and his his gift yeah um I, it, it, he brings the best out of people put it that way right right that's his that's his power <laughs> yeah so when i'm singing and you know certain times i might try to sing something that doesn't come out good you know he has a way of pulling pulling that extra thing out of you that you don't know that you have you know what i mean so that's mm -hmm. that's pretty I, that's pretty rare you know what i mean and then yeah. when you go listen to it you say okay yeah you, you, you surprise <laughs> so yourself you, you, you're in the yeah. recording session and you, you all things going through your head you know all kind of cuss words and you are making up your own cuss words and thing but you can't say it because not me no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but at no. the end of the day when you hear it and you're like wow is that me mm -hmm. yeah when you first heard yourself on a recording on the radio what was that like for you you remember where you were in the car <laughs> 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 yeah no I, I remember that very well um yeah it's it's a great feeling even till today hearing you know my song being played on the radio it's it still feels new you yeah. know what i mean yeah yeah it doesn't get old at all man it still feels new they say they say the moment that something that you're doing doesn't affect you in that kind of a way if you, if you don't get nervous before a performance or before speaking to a to a group or something it's time to hang it up because it, it doesn't mean the same to you anymore do you get nervous before each performance um in the earlier time i was very nervous um as i gotten used to it um just a little bit but that part of it is a good thing because it keeps you on your toes. You know, you say to yourself, you don't want to make mistakes or anything mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. that. You know, you want to go through and get it right. You know, you just don't want it to consume you. That's the big difference. Mm. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, you don't want that. Then that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. So, going back to that moment in the car, you heard your song on the radio for the first time. Which one of your songs was it? Mm. Uh, I think it was a song I did on, on Attempted to Touch Rhythm. Mm. But nobody don't know that one or remember it. Yeah. Really? So that was a song I heard on the radio. Yeah. What was your first thought? Um, if you can remember. I was, I was smiling. <laughs> <laughs> when are you not smiling, well, Kashif? When, when are you uh, not right? <laughs> I, have, I, I have moments when I don't smile. This is not one. Don't try it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I was smiling, but um, it was just a, a, a great feeling. You know what I mean? Like, um, wow, people are hearing my song on the radio. You yeah. know, you have goosebumps. Mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. them type of way there? Like yeah. I said, even till now, same feeling. Tell us, tell us a little bit about this album that you just came out with. Um, Love on this this album. I first heard tracks of this album when Melissa was playing it in her in her broadcast down to the root, and mm -hmm. I was like, "Wait, what? When did I miss something somewhere?" This just snuck up on me. What's going on here? You know, what was the inspiration behind Love On? And, and, and all your music, let me tell you, before I forget, love all your music, Bridget. You, oh, you from, from the love songs to the think about it songs to the praise songs to the cuss them out. Well, you know, you know. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> tell them burn down the house and thing. Yeah. But I love your music. Love on. What was the inspiration? Um. Well, I'll start nine plus years ago, <laughs> cause that the last album I did was nine years. This Is one. That long? Yeah, 
And um, there, there's reasons for that. Uh, priorities shift into other things. Right, right. So every now and then, like, we would, you know, it, the album would come up and, you know, my father would say, okay, time to finish it. Mm-hmm. Nope. Mm. Another time again. Nope. You know, some other things come up. It happens, you know. Right, right. And um, it was it was actually early this year. He said that, yeah, we have to put something out now. So it was early around February, March, I got back on it because certain songs was already done, but I had mm-hmm. to go back to touch up some stuff and change things. So that was that was taking place at that time, you know? Right, right. And um, But basically, we didn't know the direction of where the album, based on what it's talking about, where it was going to. It just kind of happened that way. Mm. Because I say the album now is talking about relationships. Right. Apart from the title track, because the title track is 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 love everyone, you know what I mean? So you made this song. So but it's the first album I've done that's talking about the ladies. Mm. <laughs> you know? So it just kinda happened that way. <laughs> no. I'm I'm I usually something like this i'd usually be featuring the album and running through the tracks on the album and such um when we get done talking but coming up later this week you're doing a listening party for the album yeah a virtual virtual listening party yeah so i don't want to 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 take away from that i'll drop a piece of tune here and a piece of tune there and whatever but right. you know i i i, I want to preserve that moment right because i must say that kicks off my earth date weekend hey it, all right. it does <laughs> so that is thursday you're doing the listening party the 4th of november yes on friday it's my earth date what? <laughs> and, and the date that that my tune as because i claim it first do it ever by Joanna Marie and Ed Robinson becomes available. Yeah. So, you know, it, your your listening party kicks off my Earth Date weekend celebrations. It wasn't planned, but as Melly would say, the stars are aligned and so be it. Mm-hmm. True. <laughs> now, I have switching a little bit performances live performances i've seen you perform a couple of times and i have to say your mj performance has to be if not one of the highlights of any performance that you do the highlight of any performance you do MJ performance. <laughs> yeah, man, because when you decide that you're going to do a little Michael Jackson thing. <laughs> and, but it, you, you can't even take it a little step further. Because the splitting thing that I see you do. <laughs> <sighs> All right. How do you manage to keep your energy levels up? <laughs> 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 Because looking at you as a re- as an, on a regular, you know, you're you're mild mannered Kashif Lindo. You know, nobody would think that that person on stage is you. So, <laughs> yeah. how, how how do you do it? Um, get enough sleep <laughs> <laughs> and eat and eat only for veggies stew. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, well, I don't know if I answer that. <laughs> you never really thought about. It. You just you just went on stage and just did it. Is is that? No. Well, see, that's something I practiced years ago. Mm-hmm. It's just the right opportunity to do it. Right. And that was the right time to do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> many, many in the chat room, many says plant based power. <laughs> hey, big up, Melly. <laughs> and Italy, you don't know, down to the root, <laughs> right? Italy, Italy is is is, is bigging you up, also. Hey, respect. Uh, yeah, the reggae global family. 
is 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 very much there and in support and sending love but Kashif, i i boy let me tell you energetic uh, out the wazoo you know after chain your levels of energy and like i said you know someone meeting you in person they, they, they might be even scared to talk to you because they, they, they wouldn't be sure how to approach you because you're so mild <laughs> you know you're the yeah, guy yeah. over there in the corner that just quiet and humble and if there's a light that is coming around you'd kind of shy away from it kind of a thing you know you don't necessarily want to be there in that spotlight kind of a impression but you're really a fun guy to be around oh uh, give thanks <laughs> i mean i love to laugh man it's it's a powerful thing yeah so that's good medicine so plant-based power and laughter is what keeps you going basically all day every day so that, that is pretty much what how you 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 work out your day how does that day in 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 the life of kashif lindo go i i i exercise a lot i meditate mm. work all day mm. go sleep and do the same thing again <laughs> so uh, how you exercise a lot and work all day how does that how do you I'm, a, I'm an niche? early bird I'm an early bird I get up early so most musicians I manage my time carefully you know so <laughs> most musicians don't do that most musicians are up late and 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 artists are up late into the night so they, they get up late well I was there once upon a time mm. but I didn't like it because of you know after a while you you're you're in the studio for so many hours and not getting enough sleep not right. good for the nerves you know so right right i didn't like that feeling so i you know i kind of push back on that mm -hmm. you know what i mean so i didn't make sure like i said manage my time carefully so make sure i get my exercise and proper rest you know so i can function through the day so if you were to advise individuals as they go about their daily lives what would you if someone came to you and said well you know Kashif, i i want to be like you you know your your energy is amazing you know every time i see you on stage uh, if if uh, you know when when they used to have the basketball tournaments i'd see you at a basketball tournament and you're just there and you're going and you're going how do you do it what would you i want to do that what would you suggest um, in the music field, you talking or just just generally someone just in 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 life, you know, just they, they want to have that kind of energy to go about their day. Well, I'll say this for me, um, food plays a big role, mm -hmm. and I'm um, converting my diet um, to now live it. That's what I call it. Mm. <laughs> um, um, it. It makes a big difference in your energy level. You know what I mean. And like I said, like when you get proper sleep, it, it does help. So everything works hand in hand. Um, I would say build your foundation um, around getting getting rest. Um, yeah. Have authentic people in your corner. Mm. That's very important yeah that's that's what's worked for me all these years you know what i mean the core is key yeah and if you have people like that in your corner you can't lose so it's up to you now once you have that what do you do next you know so next thing i say be humble mm -hmm. patience discipline you know those things work together right so you you mentioned people authentic people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. are you one of those individuals that would say you work well off energy 
the energy that you, yeah. you, you get from being in a room, the energy you get from interacting with someone. Yeah. Because and also go ahead. No, yeah, I get the energy feed off energy from people. And also I I can get it within myself. Mm -hmm. You know, put myself somewhere to build up my own energy, you know? Right. Yeah. I was having this discussion with a, 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 a friend of mine recently. Um, and she said, you know, it's funny. I was just thinking about you and, and you reached out. I was like, well, you know, it's not really that funny because we're energy and that's, mm -hmm. <laughs> we, don't, we don't always communicate by this method of technology. Right. And she was like, what do you mean? I said, you know, you ever heard of laws of attraction? You know, mm -hmm. think about that. You think it and it manifests. And I said, you know, I have a friend that talks about this uh, quite a bit. You know, you need to listen to Down to the Root on uh, Reggae Global at 4 o'clock on uh, Saturday kind of a day. You know, kind of, <laughs> because I, I, when I get into it, I get real deep. Melly has a way of presenting it nice and simple and wrapping it mm -hmm. up in a bow and thing, you know, so... <laughs> but I see, I see where you seem to kind of live in that zone. And if if it doesn't work for you, you kind of just it's not that you shun people away. You just kind of take away yourself like a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, am, am I right? I'm, yeah, I'm very reserved. Yeah. You know, I. Any form of negative energy, I just quietly distance myself from it, you know? <laughs> right. So, people, when you see Kashif out at an event, on the road, whatever, and, and you heal him up and he doesn't, it doesn't seem like he wants to be uh, loud and whatever else, don't, don't, don't be upset. Don't take it to heart. Just understand where he's coming from, man. It might not be you. It might be somebody that you interact with a lot and you carry yeah. your, their energy with you. So, you know, some people are sensitive like that and sensitive to energy like that. And I find that people who tend to have more of a plant-based diet mm -hmm. would, would be that way. I, I, I don't know what it is about something about being one with nature, one with earth. Key thing you just said a while ago, being one with nature. I, that's, that's the key thing. You know, um, I think even now with the technology that's going on, mm -hmm. you know, it's great. Yeah. But I think um, you kind of distance yourself little by little when you get consumed into the technology. Yes. Versus being one with nature, you know. Even though they're they're related, it's yeah. just one is artificial versus the natural. Right, you know? right, right. So, so you you don't want to you don't want to lose that, you know. So, with as you being someone that likes to work out, it's a big part of your your daily routine. Are you an outside workout guy? Or are you a gym workout guy? Outside. Naturally. <laughs> uh, here you go <laughs> I'll do some stuff inside too you know what I mean don't get me wrong I stretch yeah, but gotta yeah. get the sun you know <laughs> right 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 you know yeah. I, I, I just want people to, to, to get to know Kashif you know? it's just a little get to know you kind of a thing and and that's that's a bit of what the Saturday stew the secret to being on on the Saturday stew has a secret ingredient it's about you know people get to hear the artist side when they listen mm -hmm. to the music and uh, a lot of the other sittings that you might do. Um, I don't ever call what I do having an interview because it's just a reasoning. Yeah. So the others, they might get the, the more musicals. Me, I'm more interested in who the person is. And right. I, I'm figuring everybody else wants to know who you are also. Um. The, the tracks on this new album, all your writings? My father. But ah. I've con I contribute 
you mm -hmm. know, like composing some of them. Yes. And some of the melodies on there. Yeah, but ask my father. <laughs> <laughs> Lyrics. <laughs> Lyrics, man. <laughs> hey, listen. This man, I don't know. How, how does he do it? I, I don't know. <laughs> He's, You'd have to ask him what? that. <laughs> have you ever asked him? Nah, I mean, that's something within. You know what yeah. I mean? Like I said, that's his gift. He was yeah, born yeah, with yeah. it. So that's not, I would say, an easy thing. It just comes to him naturally. You know? But Sometimes it, it's hard to explain. Yeah, I, I don't know if there's anybody harder to get to, to sit down with than your father. <laughs> yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah, I don't even try. Mm -mm. <laughs> You know, sometimes up to earlier today, Melly was talking about it. You know, you, you want it to happen, you go ahead and, and write out your goals. All right. One of the goals that I would never put on people, and they say never say never, but no, because it's something that you'd have to, you'd have to pretty much happen organically. And if you catch it to document it, then so be it. But talking to Willie Lindo, that is one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 am, I am eternally grateful that I got a moment to sit down with you, Kashif. Oh, much respect. You know, uh, we, we have our reasonings uh, one and two times, you know. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm grateful for those too. But this one right here, you know, it, it, it really means something to me personally. And I'm pretty sure the Reggae Global family is, is loving this moment also. Hey. <laughs> which, which of the songs did you most contribute to? Oh, oh. I mean, in a way, I, had, I contribute to all still well, in different ways. It's your voice on <laughs> but, all of them. Um, <laughs> well, not them not the vocal side, but um, in terms of the music. Yeah. Um, mo most of them, mm -hmm. I played on most of them. How many instruments um, you play? Just one. Which? The, the um the piano. Okay. But I'll I'll mess around with the bass and guitar. Okay, got you, got you. <laughs> yeah, man. yeah. So um yeah um a few a few um I, I'm trying to remember which ones. I mean I know most of them I've I've done some stuff on. Is there a favorite on the album? No. No, I don't have a favorite. Mm. No, nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> no such I thing. love all of them. I got you. I got you. So, this one you say is an album for the ladies. Yeah. Including, hey, <laughs> it's KL. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, that, what that your introduction? What 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 what's up with that? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to get her attention, man. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, <dig>. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently sometimes you have to step out there and do a little bit more than just show up, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Melly is saying there has to be one. There has to be at least one favorite. Melly, no, which one is your favorite? Sorry, Melly. No. <laughs> Not one. All of them. <laughs> I don't have a favorite. It's hard for me, man. <laughs> to pick just one. Throughout, throughout your career thus far, are there any of the recordings that you have done that if you're going anywhere to perform, this has to be a, a a song that you must perform. Oh, for sure. <laughs> um, first cut, <laughs> for sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, no can do. Mm -hmm. uh, those two in particular, you know, they they stand very strong. What 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 what's so special about those? Well, first cut um put my name on the map internationally. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So well-received song over the years and you know it, it wouldn't look good if i did not perform that song on stage <laughs> so you know and no can do was another one the following years after that um 
um, it had the same effect, you know. So those two, I, I always have to perform. Okay, got you. Yeah. I'm just letting you know, if at any time you're going to do something live in as we move forward, you're going to have to kind of squeeze, see you in your arms there if Melly is there. Just between me and you. <laughs> if Melly yeah. is at that event, you have to find some way to squeeze in, even a piece of see you in nice. your arms. Which is yeah. interesting wording. But um, yeah, I'm going to leave it and make people feel feel what it is in a moment i'm gonna i'm gonna bounce through a little bit of that song and a couple more uh, for the album but um i want to thank you kashif for taking some time out to be the secret ingredient today to add some spice yeah. to the saturday stew much yeah, love veg veggie stew <laughs> see there <laughs> for real now is yeah. there any, anybody you want to big up before we, we, we get out of here? And, oh, a couple of things. Big up anybody you want to big up. Um, plug the listening party and tell the people where they can get in touch with you and, and get your music. Yeah, man. Um, first, I'd like to big up the Heavy Beat family, you know, my parents, um, my, my, my siblings, um, family, you know, close. Um, the Reggae Global family, much respect. Appreciate love the support always. Miss J, Ed, Melly, big up. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Now, um, what was the next question to ask again? Um, oh, check out my website. It's kashiflindo.com. You could go on my Instagram, which is at kashiflindo. And my Facebook is at kashiflindo music. Nice. Yeah, man. And uh, Thursday's listening party. Yeah. Um, come out. Y'all are going to have a great time. You know, we're going to go through songs from 1 to 40. Invite your friends, family. You know, this Thursday, November 4th at 7 p.m. At, um, what is it, uh, Jamaicans, Jamaicans um, underscore um, com and Instagram. Mm -hmm. Don't miss it. Don't be late. Everything going great. <laughs> yeah. The listening party yeah, coming man. up on Jamaicans.com. Yeah, it, it it should be fun. It should be fun. I'm like I said, I'm yeah, not gonna for sure. I'm not gonna to take away anything from that. People, if you want to have a moment to enjoy the album, oh, where can people get it? I guess that is one way to enjoy it outside of yes. the listening party. Yeah, you can go to all digital platforms mm -hmm. and also um, on our website, which is heavybeatreggae.com. You can purchase it there as well. Available now. Awesome. Much yeah, love, man. Kashif. I want you to do something for me. I want you to introduce, see you in your arms. Gotta go and play this. <laughs> What y'all got up your sleeve, man? Listen, y'all have something up your sleeve, I, man. I'm only my <laughs> arms. I only have my arms up my sleeve. I, I give you my word. I, I don't have much to give. I just give you my word. All right. Well, this is my song on the new album titled Love On. This track is titled See You In Your Arms, the remake. Yeah. And I'm not too proud to say I hurt you, girl, I was way heavy on the mind Oh, yeah And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know You might not want to see me right now But I can't hold back no longer This love's growing strong Can't you fight? See you're 
I, I need to let you know, Kashif, no shade. This is kind of one of my favorite tunes on the album, too. You know? so, it's fine. <laughs> no lie, you know. I, I was kind of holding it. I didn't want to share it, but, you know, I, I feel I should let you know. This is, is one of my favorites on the album, too. Right. But the cool. album Wicked, Beer Fire, the, the album Wicked. Yeah, man, give thanks. <laughs> All right. Big up your daddy for me. And much love. Yeah, Reggae Global family sending all kind of love. Me pull up this once more from the top. I'm going to bounce this until the top of the hour when uh, we take a quick break. Kashif, thank you for being the secret ingredient. You really spice up the show. Yeah, man. Respect, man. Let us see you, man. <laughs> all right. Much love, brother. Yeah, man. All right. Live with love. Bless. All right. Bless. Yeah, man. Cool. Chief Lindo. The album is called Love On. All I've been seeing are some rainy days. No sunshine. 